Corpus Hermeticum Book 9 A Universal Sermon to Asclepius Hermes All that is moved Asclepius, is it not moved in something, and by something? Asclepius Yes indeed. Hermes Must not that, in which a thing is moved, of necessity be greater than the thing that is moved? Of necessity. And that which moves, is it not stronger than that which is moved? Asclepius. It is stronger. Hermes. That in which a thing is moved, must it not needs have a nature, contrary to that of the thing that is moved? Asclepius. It must needs. Hermes. Is not this great world a body, than which there is no greater? Asclepius. Yes, confessedly. Hermes. And is it not solid, as filled with many great bodies, and indeed, with all the bodies that are? Asclepius. It is so. Hermes. And is not the world a body, and a body that is moved? Asclepius. It is. Hermes. Then what kind of a place must it be, wherein it is moved, and of what nature? Must it not be much bigger, that it may receive the continuity of motion? And lest that which is moved should for want of room, be stayed, and hindered in the motion? Asclepius. It must needs be an immense thing, Trismegistus, but of what nature? Hermes. Of a contrary nature Asclepius, but is not the nature of things unbodily, contrary to a body? Asclepius. Confessedly. Hermes. Therefore the place is unbodily, but that which is unbodily, is either some divine thing or God himself. And by something divine, I do not mean that which was made or begotten. If therefore it be divine, it is an essence or substance but if it be God, it is above essence, but he is otherwise intelligible. For the first, God is intelligible, not to himself, but to us, for that which is intelligible, is subject to that which understands by sense. Therefore God is not intelligible to himself, for not being any other thing from that which is understood, he cannot be understood by himself. But he is another thing from us, and therefore he is understood by us. If therefore place be intelligible, it is not place but God, but if God be intelligible, he is intelligible not as place, but as a capable operation. Now everything that is moved, is moved, not in or by that which is moved, but in that which stands or rest, and that which moves stands or rest, for it is impossible it should be moved with it. Asclepius How then Trismegistus, are those things that are here moved with the things that are moved? For you say that the spheres that wander are moved by the sphere that wanders not. Hermes That Asclepius, is not a moving together, but a counter motion, for they are not moved after a like manner, but contrary one to the other, and contrariety has a standing resistance of motion for resistance is a staying of motion. Therefore the wandering spheres being moved contrarily to that sphere which wanders not, shall have one from another contrariety standing of itself. 
for this bear which you see neither rise nor go down, but turning always about the same, do you think it moves or stands still? Asclepius. I think it moves Trismegistus. What motion Asclepius? Asclepius. A motion that is always carried about the same. But the circulation which is about the same, and the motion about the same, are both hidden by station, for that which is about the same forbids that which is above the same, if it stand to that which is about the same. And so the contrary motion stands fast always, being always established by the contrariety. But I will give you concerning this matter, an earthly example that may be seen with us. Look upon any of these living creatures upon earth, as man for example, and see him swimming, for as the water is carried one way, the reluctation or resistance of his feet and hands is made a station to the man, that he should not be carried with the water, nor sink underneath it. Asclepius. You have laid down a very clear example, Trismegistus. Hermes. Therefore every motion is in station, and is moved of station. The motion then of the world, and of every material living thing, happens not to be done by those things that are without the world, but by those things within it, a soul, or spirit, or some other unbodily thing, to those things which are without it. 